What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rich Knives back once again. So today uh, we're actually working on the cab finally. Uh, trying to get this thing ready to get put back on the frame so we can get some other stuff done and hopefully be driving this thing here in the next month, month and a half. But we'll see. Uh, so, so far, as you remember, the cab, we got the floor in. Um, we replaced the front pillars. see front pillars welded back in we got it bolted to the actual floor we have the back bolted to the floor we replaced the uh, rear pillar which is this piece right here and we replaced the uh, cab corner itself so we will have to come back and replace this whole little trim piece in the middle. It's because it's just chewed up and it's um, paper thin. Uh, so we'll get the trans cover welded in or bolted in, should I say it's a bolt in now. Uh, I cut it out just to make sure we have room for the uh, 4L60E transmission. Uh, and we don't run into any problems. Once we get that bolted in, uh, we'll get the other side bolted in to the floor as well. <coughs> and then this thing will be ready to go back on the frame. And we'll be able to do wiring, brakes, you know, all that good stuff. So, uh, come a long way in a short time. I think we started this back in April, probably. Um, so, yeah, we'll get to it. Uh, so, to bolt this thing in... We're gonna to have to drill two holes here, one up top, one in the bottom, and then we'll have to drill another hole right about here. Uh, as you can see, right here, there's one hole and there's another hole up there. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Put some light up in there. And then the same thing on the back, we got that bottom bolt in. And we just gotta drill a hole through the top. Uh, normally, on these front uh, A pillars, the bolts go from the back and come this way towards you. Uh, but we're just going to uh, put the bolts back and push them towards that uh, the inside of the uh, frame. That way, we ain't gotta worry about nothing sticking out. Then the last piece to go on out here will be the outer rocker, which is this piece right here. We'll get this piece on and it basically So it'll basically go in here uh, something, something like this. Uh, we're gonna have to do some body work to it to get it to fit. Uh, but it will go in So uh, let me go ahead and get some stuff set up and we'll start drilling some holes
All right, we used our Milwaukee to uh, actually our uh, drill with our impact wrench on it with our drill to do the uh, pilot hole. And now we're coming back with the Milwaukee, uh, no sponsorship, of course, uh, to drill the regular hole. And we're using 3 8 inch grade A bolts to bolt this thing together. So let's go. Just like that. And we'll grab our bolts. And you probably don't need a washer out here, but I'm putting one anyway. Uh, I may have to go back and take it out later, but that's okay. So we'll have a washer on the outside. The boat will go through. We'll have a washer, a lock washer, and a nut on the uh, back side. And that's how we'll bolt this thing together. So, just like that, we'll grab some tools and we'll put this thing together. And just like that, it's both together. So I will do the same on the front and we'll be back. All right, so just in case I forgot to mention, Manny Martinez uh, did the uh, front pillars. He did the uh, rear rocker on that side, the rear pillar. He did the rear cap corner on that side. He did the rear of the front A pillar on this side, the passenger side. And then my friend Brody did this rear pillar and did this rear um, cap corner. So big shout out to, uh, to Brody and uh, Manny for doing that for me. I appreciate it. Uh, Manny also, um, welded this in and got rid of this because this is where the old filler neck was for the uh, gas tank that was behind the seat which we relocated ours to the rear of the uh, frame back there so big out big shout out to uh, Manny Martinez and Brody Kroger appreciate you All right, just like that, everything's bolted in, top and the bottom, front and back. So really all we need to do is do the exact same thing on the other side, and I'm not gonna bore you with that. So I'll get that done and we'll be back. All right, YouTube, we finally got the cab done. Uh, as you can see, we got the stitch welded in, got the uh, corners welded into the back. There was some extra holes here that we had to fill in, so that's why it's like that. I'm not really worried about the welds on the inside because most of this will be covered up with sound deadener and carpeting. Um, got the new floor in, got all our bolts for our seat and seat belts, and we got all brand new seat belts. We put a high hump transmission cover in, uh, just in case we need access to our 4L60E, which we shouldn't, but just in case, uh, we got the high hump to make sure it fits. Uh, we did the passenger side floor pan. There was a big hole right here, if you remember. Um, right here. 
we did the kick panel so we're not really worried about that we did the uh, a pillar out here we did the b pillar back here and again this is not a show truck by any means we're just trying to put it back together so we can drive it uh, this is the outside front of course you won't see most of this because most of this will be covered up by fenders and by the uh, engine itself so uh, we welded uh, plate in here because this was all rotted out this is where your uh, throttle pedal bolts to we welded this in right here this is where your clutch cable or your clutch rod would come through that connects to your transmission since we're doing automatic transmission, we no longer needed that. So we welded that in. Um, we welded the floor in down here. As you can see, this is all shot with all the holes and everything. So that's the reason why we just went ahead and uh, put a piece in here to weld the two together. So uh, we have a plate that goes behind this and this is where your uh, high beam goes. So we'll put that plate on there and I'll make that extra strong with a couple of bolts. Um, this is the driver's side in the back. Again, we did the A pillar, did the B pillar. We did the rocker. As you can see, we replaced this whole piece right here. And again, this is gonna need a lot of body work, uh, but this is not a show truck. So what we're gonna end up doing is painting all this black right here uh and then once we get everything painted black outside and inside then we'll worry about putting in the carpet and we'll get that done next and then this thing we also got to put a uh, cover right here along with a uh, screw uh, once we do that then this thing will be ready to go back on the frame um there's some things in here we got to fix up top uh, but not now we're not really worried about that because that can be fixed at a later date again we removed our, our rear seat tank and relocated it to the back of the frame so we're almost there people we're almost there so just hang tight hang with me uh and we'll get get it going uh right here this is that play on the outside where i was showing you that your actual pedal goes through and I'll talk more about that in another video when we actually put our throttle pedal in here because this is drive-by cable. I mean, a drive-by wire, not cable. So there's no throttle cable and all that good stuff. So let's go to work. All right, YouTube, as you saw, we uh, got our cab done finally. Uh, we still got a few more things to do like the uh, outside rocker on both sides, which is coming next. Uh, this bed used to be full of parts as you can see we're down to the bare minimum some things we will reuse like these hinges that for the hood we'll reuse those because i think those are in good shape we'll just clean those off and hit them with some rust preventative uh, rust oleum which is right there something like that and that'll keep the rust out of those and make those back black we're going to reuse our hood and we're probably going to reuse our bed even though our bed is shot but we're going for that patina look and i think uh we'll be good to go again we're not hauling a whole bunch of stuff this is just made to be able to drive and uh cruise around in so keep following me thank you for subscribing thank you to all the new people uh thank you for all the people that's been sticking around from day one we, we started this back in i want to say march and it's now september so you figure four Four months or so uh, we went from a stock frame to our frame with an engine headers drivetrain new brakes I mean the works so we've done a lot in a short amount of time uh, as always if you stick with me we'll be putting the cab on we putting the carpet in once we put the carpet in we can put the seats in we'll be doing some wiring next uh, and then after we get all that done we should be able to do uh, do our first start and maybe go for a test drive, but we'll see. One thing at a time. So let's get the cab back on. Let's get it painted and go from there. Peace.